Hi everyone, welcome to Panzer Arms USA channel. Before I start the video, I'd like to thank you for your attention on our channel and on our products. Your, we got a lot of comments from you in last couple of months. And in these comments, many of our customers wanted a torture test, just like the ones made by James Reeves in the TBF channel. So we want to show the reliability of our shotgun and we want to do the same tests in a worse weather condition. Like it is around 22 Fahrenheit degrees now and it's snowing a little bit. And now it's a little bit sunny, but you can see the snow all around. Before I start the video, I want to show you what you're going to get when you purchase our uh, Panzer M4 model. So, first thing first. <laughs> You're getting a really nice shotgun. Okay. So, we got really cool plastic caps for the sides, for the rear side and the front side to protect your sides and to protect the box. <laughs> if I can take it off, of course, first. I'm gonna take my gloves off because it's... Uh, oh, that's all. Okay, first we got our shotgun and full chalk on it we got our user's manual and we got this chalk set of two so now it's time for shooting and we're gonna try uh, the shoot with one ounce uh, shot shells first you know normally to shoot with the one ounce shot shells uh, the shotguns need a break period of like uh, 100 shots or 200 shots with uh, one and one and quarter ounce shells but we will directly start with the 20, uh, 28 grams which is one ounce shot shells and we're gonna use RC brands for it which you may find easily in the United States <laughs> And I'm going to use 100 pieces. Okay. So.
bounce up to get hot. Hard to load for me with two gloves. Sorry for that. <coughs> and this is the last one of the one of shots. So that's great. Okay. okay. So I'm just throwing them out. And I'm handing over the shotgun to my ginger mate. And so, and now, oopsie topsie. <laughs> okay, now it's time to use Winchester bird shots, which are 32 grams. It's like one ounce and one sixteen. Okay, here you go.
Thank you very much. So I'm taking over now. So <laughs> that's great. Oh, the barrel is really hot. So now I'm going with Winchester's 34 grams. It's almost one and quarter or one and quarter ounces. So 25. <laughs> 50 75 and 100 pieces Oops. it's quite cold but I want to take off my gloves I am much comfortable like this Okay, I'm changing my mind. I'm taking off wearing my gloves, left gloves at least. Because the shotgun is really hot, <laughs> really hot. <laughs> Woo -hoo! So, it's already 200 and counting. And I gotta remind you one thing, this is a randomly chosen shotgun. Uh, it's not a shotgun specially made for this video, just keep it in mind.
<laughs> oh, something funny. The barrel is really hot. So and I hold up the barrel with my gloves. And you see. The barrel is really, really hot now. Still no more function. Okay, so. Another 100 round is over. So now we're gonna go with 36 grams of Winchester. I'm gonna hand over the shotgun to my friend, but first I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you uh, with the cases. Okay, I wish you good luck. Thank you. 
<laughs> well done, my friend. I'm taking it over again. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's really hot. It's really hot. Okay, so... The final step. Last 100. And this time we're gonna use Rio. Which is 50 grams. 2 ounces, right? <laughs> the heaviest one. Hardest one. The one that kicks most. Enough. And the shotgun is so hot. So hot. Woohoo! Whoops. Oops. So keep in mind, these are 76 millimeter shells. So in this configuration, the shotgun will be four plus one. So, I'm loading five each time. Haha, <laughs> it's kicking a bit. Well, I'm fast. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, the kicking is not something, you know, the recoil system in the shotgun is less than the other, less than the conventional ones. But the thing is, because we are making the shots non stop, non stop shooting with the shotgun, it's damn hot.
nothing because I'm raining empty shells over the camera operator. Woohoo! So, 500 shots is all. Thank you very much for watching. But before we finish the video, I want to try something. So, time to do some sketchy shit. Do -da, do -da. I hope I get away with it. Do -da, da -da, do -da. So, Let's play with a shotgun. Wah, bah, 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 bah. Ooh -hoo. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's so hot. So after this ice torture, let's try some more ammunition. Oh, it's already here. All the ice, all the hits. Do you think it's gonna work? It works perfectly. Okay, we finally finished the torture test, 500 rounds, without any malfunction, without any problem. And then I made something stupid and put the shotgun into the snow and okay, you know the rest. But now I want to mention one more thing. You know, like a couple of weeks ago, I watched a video on YouTube channel uh, telling that the M4 clones are some of the parts of the M4 clones made in turkey are deformed easily so i want to show you our part i want to disassemble the shotgun and show you the parts of our shotgun and before that i need to tell you that all manufacturers are not the same and also all importers are not the same for example this shotgun is produced in turkey but supervised and tested by the citizens of united states okay so this is an American shotgun made in Turkey. Just keep it in mind. And another thing, giving up with our quality standards to sell the shotgun cheaper. I will tell you when I disassemble the shotgun. By the way, we waited a little bit to shoot the video to let the shotgun cool down because it was incredibly hot incredible hot. 500 rounds really not easy so the first thing you will see the shotgun the barrel let's say the shotgun's barrel was so hot after this 500 shots so the upper parts of the handguards melted slightly because of the overheated barrel and also, <laughs> my, the plastic parts of my uh, gloves melted down on the barrel. I want to show you the pistons. I'll be happy if you may shoot the video more closely. There are no deformations on the pistons after 500 shots. And this 500 shots, as you saw, uh wasn't made by just light light loads we used many different kinds of loads including uh, one ounce and three quarter shells also one ounce shells or uh, one and quarter shells etc so another thing i want to show you is the mechanism so you see, there are no deformations. You see, only the paint went away by the heat 
of the pistons. That's all. No scratches, no deformation, no nothing. I'm not telling you that our M4 clone is the best, but you see the test and you see the results. It's one of the best and one of the most reliable shotguns in our armory. So, thank you very much for watching. See you in another video.